We were in a general discussion among board members. We've done the site visit. Further discussion. So my uh, view of the site confirms my opinion that there's not one but two buildable sites uh, available to the applicant on his property. Um, I don't know if it's within our purview, but uh, to save the applicant trouble, I would be uh, willing to uh, either make or entertain a motion um, if we needed to, to do something to allow him to build on his, his current property, but I would be my strong opposition to approving this application remains uh, given my previous comments. Having gone to the property and when we talked about uh, what was brought up was going to the left of the driveway when you're walking up the driveway towards the house. And obviously that was not buildable at all because you could see within a matter of feet, it fell off significantly. So I, having done the same site visit, have a completely different view as in that there's not buildable area to build such a structure based on the size and width and length of it. Um, and also it confirmed by going to the property that there is a need for a building to put some of the things in. So I would be in favor. Okay, uh, so agreed where the driveway comes up on the left, uh, there is not a buildable site. However, where the shed is, uh, there's ample room, in my opinion, to, uh, to construct the garage. Albeit, that would also entail uh, coming back before this board uh, because the, uh, if, if that were the application, the garage would be in front of the house toward Terra Drive. Uh, but I am also opposed to uh, uh, this application and uh, would, would uh, move to not approving it. I would add to what you've just said there, Larry, that that um, he may not, I defer to staff, but he may not have to come back here if, if part of his plan were to remove that existing uh, structure and replace it with a structure that he suggested. I don't say that he would not, but, but at least he has um, potentially other options there. Agreed. Okay, any other discussion? I get a motion. I'll move to deny the conditional use because the proposed use is not essential, is not desirable uh, to the community, is in conflict with the elements of the objectives of the comprehensive plan, and is not in compliance with the zoning regulations uh, based on the evidence presented and the site visit We've made, I would make this um, uh, condition uh, that this shall apply only to the uh, application given here today. Did you reference the? Um, uh, no, I did not in, in reference to uh, OC 16009. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Aye. The application's been denied. We have to do the minutes. Excuse me. Are you suggesting I go back and try to get the second structure on the existing property? Uh, 3503 property. So, um, yeah, so, the, so the general discussion that you just heard, uh, there were at least two of us that recommend or suggest that there, that there is additional building location on your existing site, whether it's where the shed currently is or elsewhere. Um, it was found that, that there is buildable site or location on, on 3503. Okay, I just want to point out that, uh, like I said, about 16 years ago, I did apply, and the Fergusons there across from the, where the shed is uh, opposed that, and I was denied that. So, you know, where do I go? I'm, I just keep coming back, and I keep getting denied. So, you should stand up. So, I'm sorry. Well, my point is, at this point, I don't know where to go. Uh, 
I mean, I, yes, I can come back and apply for the second, and what am I going to get a turned down again? I mean, this, you know, this is twice already, and that would be three times just to get turned down, and it's getting kind of expensive, and, you know, this is a, some large acreage here that I have no way of building a, a garage to put my stuff in. So you see where I'm coming from I, I, here. I do completely understand. So unfortunately, it is a it's a large acreage, a, a lot of which is unbuildable. Right. Um, but but it was found, at least by a couple of members of this board, that there is an ample room to build a garage, and you might want to consider looking at uh, uh, where where else you might be able to build that on site. Um, agreed that if you put it where the shed is or anywhere in that area you would have to come back before this board to seek additional approval or tear the existing shed out and right. add on to it or, yeah. that's right so it's an application process again correct not if you tear the shed down that'd be one accessory correct or, or make an addition to it mm -hmm. larger yep then you wouldn't okay. have to Okay, thank you. All right. This way. Minutes. Meeting minutes for the March hearing. Any uh, any modifications? Mm -mm. Move to the approve the minutes as uh, presented to us. Second. Discussion. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. Minutes approved. Any other business? Yes, we do have one more piece of business, please. Um, uh, today's meeting, and unfortunately the way it worked out because of Mike, but uh, Mike and his wife Ann uh, both served on this board for approximately four years. Um, I have greatly appreciated both Ann and Mike's uh, con contribution and uh, know that they always had the best for the county in mind, always act in a professional manner, and um, greatly want to acknowledge that uh, we appreciate as a board and me individually their service and uh, thank them for their time and their effort in serving the county. Here, here. Agree wholeheartedly. Okay, any other uh, business or discussion? I get a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Meeting adjourned. <laughs>